As long as you ain't killed somebody, it's fine by me. Oh, so you draw the line in murder, I see. I got some place to go. I was thinking I'd take about 50% of this house right here. Friends, somebody's missing you. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there is someone, but I don't want to see him now. I'm not like this. Stay here if you like. I ain't got much to share, but whatever I got's yours. Thanks. So let's do the tour. This is the master bedroom. This is the ensuite. This is the walk in closet. Well, a walk under closet, really. Yo, she's got a spring in her step now. She didn't walk this fast when she was in the hospital. Alright, so the guy over there is offering me all his stuff. You got anything better for me? Didn't mean to do that. I thought I could turn the speaker off. <laughs> oh, it's the drugs. Oh, the drugs have got their hold on me. Video game for adults tackle serious subject matter. Oh, this guy, Grandpa's medicine. <laughs> Pretty nice book collection. These guys would have appreciated You're Edgar Allan Who. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Welcome to our magical kingdom, my lady. <laughs> Please say we have fun here. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's some strong LaCroix. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna make this as uncomfortable as possible. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's my it's my old bottle right here. Just gonna hang out with this. Don't have any other lines of dialogue, I could tell you that much. Just a lot of idle animations on the bottle. You really were not supposed to watch this guy for longer than 25 seconds. But here he goes. Ooh. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna use your fire. That's okay. Take the knife. I see the knife, it glistened. Thank you. Give me the knife, please. I need to arm myself, it's dangerous out there. No? No, that, that, that seems like tonally dissonant to some extent. Put back. Yeah. Just put that back, that's okay. I see you found the suicide tire. Hi. Hi. Yo, is this the red-headed girl from that birthday party? That's it, just hi, huh? Susie Screw had a partner named Sasha. Sample. Uh, I would like to leave now. It's the daytime. It's time to get something done. Let's all go for a walk outside now. The summer sun calling my name. I hear you now. You just can't stay. No, David!
Uh, we got nothing left to eat. Just in case you weren't ready to kill yourself. We're all starving, by the way. You, uh... Sorry, can you speak up, please? Sure. I wish I had the LT. You know, get my own thoughts going on the screen just so I could... Understand that my character is going through duress because I, mean, I get it. You know, she's in an adult state But the fact you know, she just had a very fulfilling mission in our world at least our chronology and now she every time she five dollars and that's for something hot. Every time she goes to a, a high point now. They're trying to get us to kill ourselves people feel more generous <laughs> Does it take to get $5? I don't know. Depends on people's good grades. Couldn't just have... Take a couple hours. Take a week. Couldn't couldn't just have your ghost steal you a $5 bill or something? I'm starving. Gonna have to hold on until we get some cash. Think about something else. Perhaps the implication... I'm so cold. Yeah, Stan. I don't think it makes sense both of us being in the same place. No. I'm gonna go try it over there. Good luck, kid. But we split everything down the middle, okay? Excuse me, uh, five dollars, please. I need five dollars. Excuse me, good sirs. This town gets so run down. Hey, last time I looked, the economy isn't doing so good. Some people just fall on hard times. Yeah, no shit. Hello, I would like five dollars, please. Could I please have two fifty each? That's it. That's all it takes. Hello, nice young couple. May I please have a moment? Good sir. No, sorry. <laughs> We don't sell food to homeless people in here. No, I, I, I don't even want that. It's the payphone, honestly. It's the payphone I want access to so I can call Willem Dafoe and get myself out of this situation. No, I just want to use the payphone! Ah, music store. Now we're talking. Really makes you think, man. Canadian and Chinese food? You might think that I'm blowing smoke up your ass. It's a surprisingly common sign in Canada. Now that I know we're in Canada, I got a, I got a lot more love for the game. Yet at the same time, I also have to ask a question. Where the fuck in Canada does it snow this much and they ain't ever plowed? Does not exist, okay? It was in Bob Cajun. Hey, baby. Just a little after. You looking for a few extra dollars? I mean, Maybe I can help you out. I am, but. What do I have to do? I figure I'll do you a favor. You do me a favor. Ten bucks says you come around the back with me. R I refuse. Oh, that desperate asshole. You can take your ten bucks and stick it. Ten dollars? That's ridiculous. Of course I still love you. It's just that we've got this deadline, and I don't want the guys in the office to think I'm not a team player. 
Maybe if uh, you knock this project out of the park, you can afford a winter coat, my dude. Can I have 10 Canadian dollars, please? Is that your guitar? Yep. Also, do you have five dollars? my fingers off trying to play it before. You want to try? Yes. Be my guest. We, uh... We do have pay phones in Canada. I wouldn't say we use them. It's not like we're living in the 1980s, you know? There is the occasional pay phone, but when you see someone on it, you go, Oh, is that a fucking time traveler? Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Must be some kind of way out of here. Said the Joker to the thief. Well, she was going round the corner doing 50 miles an hour when the chain on her bicycle broke. I'm please destroy my ear bones. Long lost lover and a so called friend. The monkey on your back is your greatest strength. Somebody new. Really makes you think, dude. Yes. My dude is crying. Whoa, dude, it's a long song. <laughs> Six postage stamps and a quarter. We've got enough. Let's go see how Stan's doing. Oh, Stan's dead, honey. I'm sorry to. Th oh no, he never mind. How's it going? Are you flowing? Ooh, two Durex. You. Holy shh, Jody, where did you get that? <laughs> I found it. There was a guy with a guitar, and I, I play guitar. I mean, I well, I made it. I made a few. Is bucks. this the start of like the game being about her newfound music career? Those are American bills. I'm a little confused, but oh, wow, that's something. That's really something. I refuse to believe that there is a a store in the United States called Canadian and Chinese food. In Canada, we see them all the time. When they say Canadian and Chinese food, what it really is is Chinese food, they sell like a hamburger, so that if you go there and you're like, I don't know, rice is a little spicy for me, you got something to eat. Once we save this guy and take all their money, we're gonna be rich as hell. Back off and you won't get hurt. Oh, it's the vlogger. You know you're in trouble. Look here. Looks like Bum's got a girlfriend. Keep rolling, Ed. Let's demonstrate how we deal with skanky low life bitches. <laughs> Great start. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate when the game just knocks them out for me. It saves me the embarrassment. He's doing it. I do- oh, that one hurt. I do appreciate that they're still filming. 
Because this is going to go friggin' viral, dude. <sighs> I hit left on that one. It looked so left. Yeah, yeah, let the cameraman film. It's perfect. The bitch is crazy. See you later, bitch. I'm out of here. How did you do that? I learned how to fight in the army. Yeah, but there was four of them. Is one of you? Four assholes. I did not know how to fight. <laughs> Let's get out of here before they come back. All right. This guy's got six packages of Dunkaroos. Luxury rentals. Really makes you think. Yeah, I don't think you should stand there like one gust of wind could be a problem. I think it's a Seattle? Nah. There is a Western Avenue in Seattle, but rarely this kind of sustained blizzard. Hey, I even got a bit of chocolate for dessert. Chocolate? I don't reckon I even remember what that tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> That's a large can of tuna. What happened to you, Stan? They got in a fight. If it wasn't for Jody, I'd still be lying there. Should have seen it. That's too much tuna. <laughs> I'm picking up your reference. Don't worry about it. I've been known to watch some Broadway in my life. Did you know those guys? Yeah, I've seen them before. They're pretty big on YouTube. They got like 22,000 subscribers. Looking for a one-way fight. They got them phones with the cameras, and oh, I guess they like to show off. Big men with their friends. Crazy motherfuckers. Language? They got me once. Still haven't recovered. How long have you been here? I found a bridge about you know, six months ago. Up to the Walter. Would you say that uh, under the bridge downtown up? is where I draw my blood? Because he's been here, what, like three weeks? When, when is your baby? Are you a teenage bride with a baby inside? Next month. Getting high on information? She hasn't been kicking for days. I hope she's all right. Her boyfriend used to beat her up. He didn't want a baby. You know, maybe she could tell me that. It's kind of a sensitive piece of information. But sure, more power to you. Jimmy? Are, are you okay? I'm cold. I'm so fucking cold. Drugs. Oh, no kidding. How about you, Jody? You haven't said much about yourself. How did you end up on the street? Heard some things that I'm not proud of. Until I realized I was being used. I, I know that. This is gonna sound really strange. But, but I'm drugs. Different. This made my whole life a fucking mess. You said you were different, Jody. In what way? I was. I was born with a gift. The gift of drugs. Or what they call the gift. That is really a curse. It's ruined my life. I mean, the person that I am today. Freak. A mistake. Yeah, but Aiden can hear this whole thing. 
He's protecting you from ghosts night and day, and you're just Looks insulting like him. The only one with a drug problem. I mean, alcohol's a drug, my dude. Turn the gaze of introspection on yourself. Tuesday. Tuesday, happy Do you want to know how your baby is? Give me your hands. Aiden, I just want you to be very careful here, because I've seen what this prompt has done in the past. I have watched you crush a man's windpipe with the same QTE, so I just want you to be gentle, okay? Don't worry about your baby. Everything's alright. I know. I saw her. So, what do you think the over-under is that Tuesday names her baby Jody? Poor Jimmy. Hello, I'd like to... F yes, I'd like He's to... Really bad I'd like to save you, Jimmy. There we go. She should name it Wednesday. Don't, I'm healing your drug-related wounds here. Don't, never fear. Yo, it's the hardest QTE in video game history. Grey's Anatomy. The pain's gone. How, how did you do that? Yo, Alan, if you can't get a job with these kind of skills, like, maybe it's not society's fault. He's like, I'm good. Not pregnant. Uh. Hello? fucked up for Jody to like could you just ask maybe if he wants to it's kind of a traumatic moment you know stop living in the past Stan nothing's gonna change what we had together now you have to start a new life go back to work fall in love just be happy again for me Stan God help me, I miss you. <laughs> so she's she's Jesus. Anyway, I'm going to bed. This was all fun and games, but you know, <laughs> I'm real sleepy. <laughs> Damn 